I'm Blake with the Southern POV. I'm coming at you today from the meat room. That is meat with an A, not two E's. Today, this is gonna be the part three of the pond to table series that we've been doing. Part one was catching the bass. Part two was cleaning the bass. Part three of the pond to table series. The best part of all, cooking. When it comes to frying fish, I like to keep it simple. Um, I take the fillets that have been soaking in the salt water for a couple days, take them out, dry them off, and cut them into small pieces. I found the small pieces tend to fry a little better. Then I like to season them with your basic salt, pepper, and some Creole seasoning. That gives it a good flavor. Um, cover the fish with cornmeal. Cornmeal works good with fish. Some people use flour, but I prefer cornmeal. Uh, we're gonna be frying the fish today in a cast iron pot on a, a Detroit Jewel uh, gas stove that is from 1927, so there's a little bit of nostalgia there. The temperature, the grease, I like to keep it at around 350 degrees. It only takes a couple of minutes of the fish being in the grease when you cut them into small pieces to be done. You don't want to overcook them, but you also want to make sure they're done all the way until they're a good golden brown. I take them out of the grease, put them on a paper towel, let them dry, and my favorite way to eat them is straight from the plate right there. You don't got to wait and cook a meal. Eat them while they're hot. It's one of my favorite ways to eat them. Just took the fish out to grease. Oh, man, look at that right there. I don't care who you are, that is uh, that's good fish. This has been the Southern POV's three-part series of Pond to Table. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we're going to be doing some more of these when it comes to maybe some deer from Field to Table or something like that. So like always, if you have any questions or comments, please email us at thesouthernpov at gmail.com. Until then, later.